be the, be the day for the Schwanz man to come to my front door. I mean, changing in the foyer of our home. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday and I'm getting a little bit later start to the vlog only because I needed to finish working on my Monday video, which you have already seen. So that is currently uploading right now. It's kind of a relief. So we ended up having family come on Sunday. And so I didn't get enough time to finish recording the video. So that's why it's a little bit late. I just didn't get time. I had family here and just decided to not worry about my YouTube video until Monday. So the boys and I are at home. It's about almost 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're gonna stay home today. Okay, I'm watching. <laughs> With the exception of picking up the kids and bringing Macy to gymnastics, it's going to be an at-home day, just kind of getting things done. I was able to get a ton of laundry done yesterday and I wanna keep that going. I'm washing bedding, diapers, and what else? That's about it. The boys have been sick. They had upper respiratory infections, which if you saw Monday's video, you already knew this, but if you didn't, they're on antibiotics. They're doing so much better, but we've just been kind of staying, sticking around home as much as we can. We've got another snowstorm, five and a half more inches of snow came on Saturday. So yeah, it's just been nice to stay home, stay warm and be productive. So mm -hmm. All right, let's get your medicine. Try me. You want to go first? Oh, yes. After one day of being on the antibiotics, they we noticed such a big difference in how much they felt better. Ready? Yeah. How's that taste? Good. good? <laughs> Not really good, but. I'm not brave. You were brave. I'm so I'm proud of you. Are you ready? How was that? Good. Good. This is twin problems. Oh. Uh-oh. When my mom was here, she brought the kids all something little for like Valentine's Day and just as a little surprise for the grandkids. And this was Madden's gift. It's like a little rocket launcher. But he wouldn't let them play with it. So he's at school. So of course. Yeah, you're putting air in it. So they take advantage when brothers at school. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did that? Did that hit you right in the head? It hit me right here on a tee. Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Already lunchtime this morning flew by. Oh, <laughs> okay. But we went to Perkins after church yesterday and these guys barely eat any of their food. So they're having some of their leftover pancakes and they wanted it just like they had at Perkins where they had whipped cream on the top. <laughs> but yeah. I can see where this is going really fast, but I gave them some syrup and sprinkles and I Ethan is all about the strawberries. So yeah, that's what they're gonna have for lunch today. Is it good, Andrew? I almost called you Ethan, it's good? Did you get maybe too much in your mouth at one time? The big <laughs> He's mad at me because I won't give him more whipped cream when he hasn't eaten any of the pancake yet. <laughs> We're not just having whipped cream for lunch. But I think for me, I'm just gonna have, make a sandwich bagel sandwich. I have bagels out. I have like turkey, salami, lettuce, maybe some cheese. Do we have any good cheese? Oh yes, we do. We have some Monterey cheese or Monterey Jack and Colby cheese. So let's make myself a little sandwich and we'll call it good. 
he is mad. Can you tell him don't smile? <laughs> <laughs> he did take a couple bites of his pancakes that so were making progress but I'm pretty sure in my last day in life video I did I had a bagel that day too but it was peanut butter for breakfast and now I'm having a bagel for lunch in this vlog I guess we've been loving bagels lately because I'm pretty sure when my hubby gets home for lunch he will make like an egg and cheese or not cheese an egg some sort of egg bagel sandwich for lunch but they're so cheap they're filling, they're yummy, and they're just something besides like your everyday just piece of bread. So, I guess bagels. He's home for lunch, and what did I tell you? An egg and bagel sandwich. <laughs> I know. It's almost nap time though. We managed to destroy the playroom in about 10 minutes though. What are you building? Creation. A creation. It's very nice. I like when you guys play together. Uh oh. Boys are down for their nap now. I broke into the Perkins cookies that were left over from the kids' meals. I mean, seriously, the kids cannot eat this big of a cookie. Well, they probably could, but they don't need it. But look what just came. Stitch fix. So I thought we'd go sit down. In the playroom, I'll have to like push the Legos aside and we'll do a little Stitch Fix unboxing. Let's do it. I wasn't joking when I said I needed to push the Legos aside. This is the truth about YouTube videos. You just like push all your stuff off to the side and then your house looks clean. I have had a lot of you asking when I'm going to be getting another Stitch Fix box and I did order one right before we went to Cancun but I just didn't have any time like available to record an unboxing and try on for you. I did keep like those gray pants that I showed in my like pack with me video but that was it. Um, but anyway, someone I think commented last week, when's your next Stitch Fix box? I'm like, I totally need to go on and get one because I do have just a little bit of credit. I think I have like $50 in credit to put towards that. So I decided, you know what, I will. Maybe I'll try to find like one shirt out of the box that I would like. And I ordered it to come on Valentine's Day, but here it is Monday, so it's five days early. And that's totally fine. I didn't put a note or anything like that. I basically just said, or I didn't say anything. So we'll see what I got. I will say this is the largest Stitch Fix box I have ever gotten. Usually they're like half this size, so there's something like big in here, that is for sure. But in case you're new here and haven't heard of Stitch Fix, it is a clothing subscription service. You get a personal stylist and they basically will send you five items in your size and like that fits your kind of qualifications or whatever. And then you could choose like to keep all of them, which if you do, you get a good discount or you can just keep one of them or you can just send them all back. But I always have the link in my description box if you want to try out the first box for free or have it styled for free, you can use the link below in the subscription box. Subscription box. Description box. Oh my gosh. Too many big words. But I have <laughs> I've done stitch fix for years. I I love it. It's just fun. And I I started it when I became a stay-at-home mom. Um, there's just not a lot of places to go shopping and then when I do want to go shopping it just doesn't work with the kids so anyways here we go I have the box right here I have not opened anything don't even know who my stylist is I have Liz I think I got a new stylist because I wasn't too impressed with the last box that I got um, hope you had an amazing time and then she kind of talks about all the items so you do get style cards that kind of tells you what to wear if you were a style challenge like myself um, but I do have credit, but yeah, this is kind of an expensive box. So I'll probably, hopefully only find one thing that I want to keep here. But you get a price sheet and the discount if you keep all of them. I'm going to open. Oops. So there's one bundle here and then there's still a couple other things in the bag. So let's open this, shall we? Actually, perfect timing because I didn't have like any big projects or plans for nap time today. So this works out really well. Okay. Oh, this is kind of cute. I like this. So it's a little puffer vest by Market and Spruce, which is like my favorite brand. It's like exclusive to Stitch Fix, but it's like a really pretty, what color do they call it? Blue, <laughs> blue <laughs> puffer vest. 
that's perfect i'm a cold person in general like i'm always freezing and so this like makes me happy to see this like i would totally just wear this around our house okay the next thing looks like it is like a heathered gray cowl neck type top and this is by ink love and peace light gray Alyssa drawstring hem cowl neck knit top so it's cowl neck this totally looks like my style except for I cannot stand when things have the tie right in the front by your crotch that drives me nuts my kids would untie it all day long but it looks cozy and definitely something I would wear it has my mom pocket on the front there you guys know I love me some pockets there's kind of the front detail I'll try all these on for you Oh, but these are some jeans. High rise, that is good. I don't necessarily need any jeans. I do like the wash on these though. I think they're very unique. And cause yeah, look at that, really nice. I kind of like those a lot. I wasn't, I, I wasn't hoping to like the jeans because they're usually expensive. Okay, so what does it say? Stitch Fix exclusive, cut from the cloth. Indigo Bodhi high rise skinny jeans. We'll try those on. Okay, I like this one. I'm sure you won't be surprised because I'm wearing like a color very similar. <laughs> but this is a hoodie. It's really soft and stretchy. Got my pocket on the front. It's a good length. It's kind of more of like a creamish color on the top. But it is also by Market and Spruce the Brenna color blocked hooded knit pullover in off white. That is that one other bundle right here is ooh, I thought I dumped my water this is a jacket also by market and spruce they must know I like market and spruce stuff ooh I like that so it's a like an olive green jacket but look at it's like Sherpa lined in the hood this is really nice size small I like mediums and jackets for some reason but may, they know maybe so it is fully Sherpa lined on the inside, which is needed here <laughs> this time of year. This might actually almost be a little bit too light of a jacket to be wearing around here right now. And this kind of reminds me of more like a fall type jacket. And I just kept a mustard one earlier, earlier last year. So I don't know if I necessarily need another jacket and I'm sure this one is like a hundred dollars. I think what I'll do is I will try them on. We'll look at the price and you guys can help me decide. The jacket, $98. I'm not going to keep it. The sleeves are not lined and I think it's going to be tight. Ooh, <laughs> that was so graceful. It just feels tight on the arms too. I mean, we're, we bundled up. It is kind of cute, but $98. I don't really need this right now. If, if this was the fall, I would probably consider it, but uh, this, oh, I love it though. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I do like that, but mm, I just kept the mustard one. I don't need it. Here's the cowl neck one, the one with the weird tie at my crotch. <laughs> I don't, it's $64, I'm not keeping it. Thumb holes, I like that. Macy would love this. It's soft, it's comfortable. I don't really care for the neckline. I don't know, I just don't, it's unique, but I mean, they lost me at the drawstring. <laughs> the vest might actually match. Oh, that's cute, so it's like a packable vest. It has like a little pouch you can like pack it in. Not that I'm going anywhere, but if I ever did want to go somewhere and pack my blue vest, I would have a packable little pouch that has polka dots. Oh my God. I am so not good at this kind of stuff. Okay. It's really lightweight. It's actually really cute. I like that. Does it zip? This is, did I say this is $68? I could get a North Face for like that price, I think. Uh, it's a cute color though. Mm, does it? Oh, it does have pockets, zippered pockets. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's a really pretty color. I kind of like it. It actually goes well with this shirt. But there you go. Look at that. 
Here's my favorite one, or so I thought. I like it. It's actually kind of more fitted than like a normal hoodie. It's $58, so basically my credit would pay for this. I don't know. Like, I like it. I like that it's color blocked. I don't know if I like the cream color. Like, it almost, I kind of wish it was like a white. But it does have thumb holes, too. I like it. Do I have too much in this color though? Got the tag sticking out, that's so nice. Okay, $58, eh, I don't know. I can't decide on this one either. <laughs> I almost kinda like the vest, I think a little bit more. I'm surprising myself. I thought I was gonna like this one the best. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I mean, but this would be the, be the day for the Schwanz man to come to my front door. I mean, changing in the foyer of our home, putting my slippers on. Okay, here's a realistic view of my life. The Legos on both sides. I did push them to the side, but clearly it didn't, I didn't push them far enough. But here's the jeans, $88. As much as I love these, I honestly do not need another pair of jeans. I love my American Eagle jeans so much and they're cheaper than this. So I'll probably end up sending these back. Although I just, I love them a lot. I'm channeling my inner Kim right now, <laughs> leaving the tags on over at the Wads. If you don't follow her, I'm gonna link her channel below. She is hilarious, you guys, hilarious. <laughs> but she leaves the tags on everything. and I kind of do the same thing. Although I would not clearly wear this out in public, but I think of all the things I tried on, I like the vest the most for a couple of reasons. One, I think the price is okay on it for a nice vest like this. Two, I love the color and it's lightweight. Like it's not like super thick where I'll feel like a big marshmallow wearing it around. But three, I feel like I can pair it with a lot of different things that I already have in my closet. I wear a lot of neutral things, solid gray tuna tunics black and white striped shirts. Like I feel like this would like instantly kind of dress up some of the clothes that I already have. And so this is the one I'm kind of leaning towards keeping out of everything here and sending the rest back. So I could use my credit towards this. But you guys let me know in the comments. I'm gonna wait to check out till I read your comments to let me know what you think. But I kind of love this blue color. I think it'll be pretty um, for the next few months that it's still freaking cold out here. So. That's all for Stitch Fix this time. I'll probably get one closer to like actual springtime when it starts warming up and we can start thinking about short sleeves or like cropped jeans even, like ooh, exciting. But yeah, rest of nap time. I might just take it easy and watch some YouTube videos, honestly. It's been um, a crazy few weeks here with trying to get things done around the house and I'm just kind of at a lull right now where I just maybe should just take it easy a little bit. So I'll probably do that. My husband actually has a meeting after work today so he's not going to be home till way after dinner time. So I kind of feel like I need to save up my energy to take care of all of the kids and all the activities and stuff. So I'll probably just take it easy for a little bit now. I tucked the tag in, don't worry, the tag is still on. I'm just kind of wearing it around to see if I want to keep it or not. But I just sat down at my desk, replying to comments from today's video, you guys. I was so nervous, so nervous to post this video because, you know, people are pretty vocal when I do different decorating projects. I hear all ends of the spectrum, you know what I mean? Some people love it, some people don't like it and they're not afraid to tell me and so I was really nervous about this and I'm sure there'll be a few. But honestly, all of you guys are being so kind to me in the comments and I just wanted to say thank you for kind of reassuring me. I love it, my husband, he doesn't really care either way. Macy loves it. <laughs> But yeah, it was definitely a risk in there, but I'm so glad I at least tried it and I'm, I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. So if you haven't watched Monday's video and have no idea what I'm talking about, go back and watch it. I just, I tried something really, really, really bold in there. Honestly, just wasn't sure how you guys were all gonna take it. So I'm so glad that you love it. It makes me so happy and you guys, your comments just mean so much. Kids are home from school. You can find Madden running back and forth, racing. We set our timer on our phones and we try to see who goes the fastest and who usually wins. Dad. Dad and then who? 
Me. Then you're pretty fast too, aren't you? But he has a birthday coming up in like two weeks. Yeah, and I'm gonna be six years old. That is absolutely crazy. I started my YouTube channel like right after, he, well he was like three months old when I started it. So when you put it in to perspective like that, pretty crazy. I still can't believe he's gonna be six. Cannot believe it and I have not even started planning this birthday party. I think we'll do like one where it's like grandparents and like family one day and then we'll he'll just have like a few boys come over. For kindergarten birthday parties, we don't usually go like all out, but next year maybe we can go to a fun place because he's still trying to figure out, I think, who his friends are and yeah, I don't know <laughs> how I'm gonna do with that many boys at our house, but we'll see. I did have a comment that I don't show a lot of like footage in my vlogs of like afternoons and evenings or like early mornings. And honestly, the reason is, especially the afternoons, evenings we don't do too much to be honest with you like we will just hang out I might like fold a load of laundry just to get it out of there but I let the kids kind of do their own thing for a little bit like right now they're eating snack Macy ran upstairs to watch Fuller House and she'll read and then we need to bring her to gymnastics so it's kind of like running back and forth and just kind of relaxing so there's really not much to vlog but that's kind of what we're doing Madden was playing outside for just a little bit so Guess we had that going on, but that's really about it. I was thinking about giving Bailey a bath today, but I'm just not sure I have it in me to do it. I don't know. It just hasn't been like a overly productive day, I guess. I whipped up some egg salad for sandwiches. I followed a recipe on allrecipes.com, except for I didn't have green onion. I used relish instead and it tastes just fine. I thought I would whip up something pretty easy for dinner tonight. We have a ton of eggs in the fridge. And since it's just me with the kids, I can eat this and I'll probably make them like a macaroni and cheese or something like that. We'll see what I end up making for them because I know they won't eat egg salad, but I don't know, for some reason this sounded really good and it tastes pretty good. I probably could have added more eggs, but I'm the only one that will most likely eat it, so I did not want to go crazy there. But while I was working on that, Madden put together a My little clip. project. It's a clip chart. A clip chart. We had someone run away with a snack. Oh, he's sneaking pretzels. <laughs> you don't have to sneak them, buddy. <laughs> But Madden made this clip chart like they have at school. I think it was inspired by his behavior at school today. Because it was parent contact, teachers towards things about ready to learn, good day, great job, and outstanding. And what I landed on today was... Great job! He had a really good day at school. Usually he's kind of right in here. But today... He was here. Go clip up. They're getting a this lot. Right here. You can so sit on your butt and then let me move your feet and go like that. And now put your hands in your bowl like this. Walking in a straight line. <laughs> I love it. I actually meant to vacuum earlier. I noticed how gross it was when I was sitting playing with the twins earlier, but I just didn't get around to it. So, Shark Robot for the win. Um, dinner did not go so well, but we made it through. You would have thought baby carrots were like poison or something. <sighs> Anyways, it is about bath time, so I'm going to bring all the boys upstairs and get that done. I'm thinking too, it's time to get out of these clothes and actually put on my jammies. I am one of those people that loves to get in my pajamas like early in the night. It's only like, what, 6.20 and I'm like, it's pajama time.
Watch out, Andrew. Okay, I'm watching. Whoa, Andrew does a good job. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up for day in the life videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our next video. Bye.